I'm Ginny Weissman from the Pet Ministry, and it really is a privilege to be able to talk to you today. I'm just really trying to hold it together because when I talk about the pets, it is a place where I go very, very deeply about my passion for them. I started at the Unity Church in Chicago in about 1980, which was started when some kittens were found in our church and we decided to start adopting them out of the services. So I did that in Chicago for about 15 years. So I was here several months and I was asking for a sign from God. And one Sunday, Reverend Joe comes out in the service with his two new Labradoodles and says that they just adopted these cute puppies. And then I was told that Dr. Maxine adopted a dog that had been on the streets and she kept that dog. And so I said, here's my sign. Over the last five years, so many people, some of the ministers here have adopted dogs, and what I hear almost every Sunday is how these dogs have changed their lives. So in February of 2009, we started bringing pets to the patio in the Center for Spiritual Living, and we've been doing that every month except on the summer months for the last five years. And we're such a passionate community. Everybody here has their ministry. My passion and my ministry is the pets, and many of you see me here on Sunday. Um, and ask me almost every Sunday if I have pets here, but we do have them here one Sunday a month now on the third Sunday of the month. And uh, we have found wonderful, wonderful homes uh, through this congregation and through the networking of this congregation because I see people taking out their phones and sending pictures to their neighbors and to their family. And so we're able to network out the animals much larger than this, uh, in a much larger area than this congregation. But the people in the congregation who have adopted pets tell me over over the years how much the pets have changed their life. Um, they do lower your blood pressure, they do improve your health, but most of all there are companions who keep us from being lonely, from being sad, who sometimes give us a reason to get up in the morning and that's what I look for. I'd like to share something that happened to me this summer. I had a just an aggravating situation happen to me that ended up as a miracle and I want to keep the phrase, show me the miracle in mind when I have something happen to me, instead of saying, why is this happening to me? By accident, a friend drove my car with the emergency brake on for about six miles. The car smelled like it was going to blow up. I took it into a dealership that I trusted, hoping they wouldn't tell me I needed a whole new brake job because you never know when your car's, you know, got brake problems, how dangerous that could be. Fortunately, I had an honest mechanic who said it was fine to drive, and the next time we do the brakes, everything was fine. But I was still angry about it, I was still in a snit about it, and instead of letting that happen, I kept praying about it, saying, you know, let it go, forgive it, whatever. And briefly, what evolved out of that story was a wonderful home for another pet. Because I was sitting in the mechanic's place that morning, I met a woman who adopted, who fostered a dog for me, and the dog wasn't staying at that home. We, the dogs pick who they want to be with, escaped from her home went to the house next door and adopted a wonderful family who now loves this dog. And that dog, A, would not be on the planet if I hadn't been sitting in the mechanic's office because I wouldn't have gone to the rescue to rescue it, and B, it wouldn't be in this loving home. So now instead of saying, why is this happening to me, I say, show me the miracle. So this Sunday, uh, we had uh, three chihuahuas here that we rescued. To give you an example, we rescued from a hoarder situation. That's the kind of calls we get. There's groups of, of animals that are not being cared for or fed. We go in and get those animals, we socialize them, and so it looks like some of these will get homes today. What you've done when you take one of the rescue pets that we bring here is that you've saved a life. But we have an expression in rescue, which is, who rescued who? Because you think you're saving the life of the pet, and that's a wonderful thing. But when you have that pet, you realize that that pet also rescued you and gave you a purpose in your life, a new life, maybe a healthier life, and um, that's why I do this.